Greetings fellow SEO optimizers, web developers and pretty much everybody who owns and maintains a website. I want to present to your attention the ultimate site crawling software for Macintosh operating system. The pearl among our SEO products, the SEO Spider. SEO Spider is small and neat application which works on the same principle as the search engine crawlers. It goes to your site and follows every single link to its final destination. In the meantime, it gathers a whole bag of metadata about these links and the pages or objects they lead to. But let's stop with the empty words and see the SEO spider in action. To start the crawl, hit the run button, enter your URL and choose one of the 18 user agents among which there are some mobile ones but I will go with the default one. Hit OK and check the elapsed time and relative crawling speed at the progress bar. This crawl might take a while, so I suggest we skip this part. Once the crawl has ended, you can either export the harvested data as an HTML report, CSV file, XML sitemap or Graphizy file, or analyze it directly in the application. In the left panel, we have prepared a bunch of built-in filters, which we consider to be the most important and most commonly used, like O404s or O images and HTML pages. Here, you can also find the most outstanding feature of the SEO Spider, which are the custom filters, but I'm not going to show them now, there will be a special video tutorial about them. Once a filter like the HTML is selected, all the results that answer to this filter are displayed in the up window. There you can find 36 unique characteristics about every link varying from status code and content type, to title, meta description, publisher and even the open graph elements. The interface is quite flexible, so you can reorder any of the columns, you can choose which of them to be displayed or not, and you can also shrink or expand your view with the view buttons. If you want to study any of the links further, select the link and go to the bottom window. There, in the General tab, you find the very same 36 characteristics listed vertically. The next four tabs reveal you detailed information about any incoming or outcoming link. The shortest path basically shows you the shortest path to that link from the root directory, and the final three tabs show you any header and its length. If in the meantime you want to examine any of the in or outcoming links but don't want to bother with going in the up window and searching for it, right click on that link and choose Go To. Then the link in question will be both loaded in the up and bottom window. Last but not least important is the context menu which allows you to open the link in browser, copy its URL, view its social signals with SEO Auditor, ping it with Pingler, validate it with W3 Validator, check its loading speed with four different web page speed testers, view it in Internet Archive, or see how it looks on mobile devices with responsenator.com. Well guys, that's all for now from us and the SEO Spider. Bear in mind that this video is just a brief overview of the product and there are more tutorials coming soon. The whole team hopes that your first impressions about the application are good and you already like it. We would also appreciate it if you could share your opinion about the SEO Spider on our Facebook group Twitter channel or simply in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.